rocks to look at. Somebody cooked some fish right here. I see some pole holders. Charcoal. Somebody cooked fish there and there. There's probably huge fish in here. Man. I'll just walk around a little bit. I really, I really love spots like this. I got my fishing pole, I got my license. It's just my fishing pole is a uh, ultralight. I don't know what I'll hook in here. I don't want to catch a sea monster. Break the pole. Look at that. What an awesome spot. Spot like this. This is so freaking beautiful, man. The amazing Susquehanna. When I was doing um, archaeology in Connecticut, I was working on a spot that looked like this. Much narrower of a river. And the ground looked like this. And I was doing uh, test pits with a forget what it's called, but it's a sh two shovels. Clamp them together and you pull the dirt out. And we were putting them into the machine, into the uh, sifting machines. And uh, I wasn't this close to the river there. It looked very similar to this, just narrower, like I said. But we were up by the knotweed, like, like what's up there. And we were looking to protect the site. It was in a major city. And we were just digging, and I was I was digging and pulling, this is before I got sick. I was digging and pulling the things out, and I noticed I was starting to get chest pain, so I was kind of bummed a little bit. But I was, I was working hard, I was digging the hole. I forget how deep we had to go down, but it was pretty deep because of this muck. Muck. The sites are buried deep. And I pulled out a couple pieces of ceramic, a couple flakes. No points or anything like that. But um, on that day, I got really sick. That's when I first hurt my shoulder. Something, something happened. And I had pain in here, straight through to here. And I was like, something's up. And I sat down, and I was sweating a lot. And it wasn't that hot. I was like, what the hell? And then I started puking. And I was like, what the hell? What the hell's going on here? So I got really scared, and I talked to my manager. And he's like, all right, go home, get checked out, whatever, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I went home. I think I went to the ER, and they're like, no, your EKG is fine. It's not your heart. Go home, whatever. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I called my boss back to tell him what was up. And he was like, yeah, no, with something like that, we got to let you go. So uh, try to find another job somewhere else. I was like, what the, what the hell, man? I had one incident. Well, it was, they had a quota of yeah, how Yeah, they had a quota of how much had to be done in a day. And because I got sick, they fell behind on the quota. And I guess me getting sick screwed them. So, But this spot here reminds me of that. And uh, I did find pottery, ceramics, um, woodland, woodland period stuff. So I don't know what happened with that site or anything because I got laid off, fired, whatever you want to call it. But, still good memories. I love doing that stuff. And I'm going to be doing it again. Soon. Soon, soon. So for anyone uh, new to the channel, uh, with that story, I had thyroid cancer. That's what was wrong. They fixed it six years ago now. They took it out. I'm good to go. I have some side effects. Uh, but I'm still doing this kind of stuff, so... I am good. But that's uh, that's what happened. Topedic doctor wanted to do an MRI of my shoulder 
and when they did the MRI of the shoulder, they saw the cancer in my thyroid. So then I never got my shoulder fixed because I had to go get the cancer fixed. So now I'm trying to fix the shoulder and I'm in physical therapy right now. I have a week off from physical therapy. Uh, they canceled, not me. So I figured I'd come do this and film. Well, this and is its own kind of healing. Yeah. I always want to go in, but the fish. Fish chase, chasing little fish. All right, let's go make sure we aren't getting towed. Because I hear <laughs> it. Yep. I hear the thing. All right, so I am going to get back on the road. Maybe I'll go over that, stop some places. I don't know. I'm kind of just winging this whole trip, but I'm loving it so far. So come on, guys. Let's go. We got stuff to do. We can't just stare at a pretty river forever. <laughs> sure we could. Sure we could. All right, heading out. Rupert Covered Bridge was built in 1847 by Jesse Beard. Cost him 1600 There it is. There's the crew. The bridge was damaged during a flood. And the waterway, it's over top, it's called Fishing Creek. So I should probably fish in there then. And there it is. So there is Fishing Creek. And there is Rupert Bridge. Covered Bridge. Look at that. That is a good looking bridge. Printer B floating in the air up there. Oh, I can just go to fish. some beautiful creeks around here. Is having issues. <laughs> Jeez. Bet you that's what dinosaurs sounded like. Not pets. Why not? Oh, this has all the state animals. Is that a potato? Don't feed the squirrels potatoes. another spot along the Susquehanna. Uh so, picked up some salmon and I already ate one and what I did was I dipped it in a horseradish that I bought at this place. The place is called Wild for Salmon. 
and it is amazing. That is like the best salmon I've ever had. And I split it with Leia. She took half, I took half. And it was fillets, like really thin and really good. Salty, but good. And then this is a um, traditional smoked. So I'm gonna try this in a little bit. It's still thawing. It's already cooked, it's already smoked. It says ready to eat. And that was super spicy, super good. My nose is still running from it. Look at that. Smoked salmon. Wow. I think I got my new favorite travel tree. It's almost like a super soft jerky, but it's common. Mm. Wow, super salty, but super good.